Hey you guys, I've shown these before on a Titan T2 rack, but again, just want to show you because for the price, I absolutely love these uh, these dumbbell holders. They're, I mean, they work great for these hex heads. I'm sure they'll work for anything. They have a good lip on them. Um, yeah, I don't have anything negative to say about them. So, the build on them seems pretty good. I'm sure they're going to hold whatever weight I use for dumbbells on there. I don't envision going much over, you know, 80, 90 pounds at the most. Right now I just have 70s on there. So, strong build. I I had another set of dumbbells before and I had up to, on that T2 rack, I think I had 110 pound dumbbells on, on the rack and it was no problem on that one. So I don't envision it being a problem on this X3 rack. But these things are sweet. You don't need a, a partner down there to lift. Uh, you do need to have a space to drop the dumbbell if you cannot lift it. I don't have a lot of space here because I have a seal bar down there on the ground in the way, but I'm going to lift these off just to show them to you. Like you can, if it's not perfect positioning for you, you can scoot your dumbbells in and that lift on the outside is still going to hold them. So if you want a narrower lift off, as long as you can fit your wrist in the slots, which most of us can. <laughs> You can take a tighter position for your lift off, or if you're used to going wide, you can stick them out here. You have some leeway in there. But you just get yourself in the proper position for your dumbbell lift off. You want to be out in front a little because you are going to hit this lift if you're if you're too far forward. But here we go. Lift off. Drop down. Oops, I've got my safeties in there, so let me do that again. You don't want to have your safety bar in your way. I've got two of them here. I've got the arms on here too. But just wanted to give you a quick look at this. Sweet, huh? Now if I'm burned out, I'm just going to drop them to my side. But I'm not, so I'm just going to set them back in the rack and then I'm ready for another set. So, I think these are, for the X3, they might have been 100 bucks. I think when I got them for the T2, they were discounting stuff at that time, so they were like 70 some dollars or something. Uh, I'll get the exact price and I'll post it on here, but uh, even at 100 bucks, 99 bucks, fantastic attachment to have on your, on your rack. Um, I'll get the diameters of the holes and spacing, but... Uh, yeah, if you've got a squat rack, power rack that can accommodate these uh, dumbbell holders, great uh, variation on your chest workout. You know, you see these guys in the gym, especially guys my age. Uh, you know, you're, if you're in your 60s and you've got these heavy dumbbells on your lap and you give it this flip down, we all know what the back does. When we hit that bench, at least I know what mine does. I get this ripple effect all up and down my backbone <laughs> and my back cracking and I think a lot of people do that even younger guys I did it when I was younger too plus it's all that added you can tear something in your shoulder you're dropping this is 70 pounds but when I get stronger dropping 90 or 100 pounds down on your shoulders it's a lot of a lot of weight on your joints and stuff that you're doing needlessly if you can get something like this attached to your power rack so I highly recommend this I know I do a lot of Titan stuff. I plan to do other reviews. I've got some rep stuff here and I have some rogue weights, but uh, I'll give a plug where it's due. Titan, this is a, a great attachment for the power rack. If you don't have one, go out and get one. You'll be happy you did. It's going to help you with your dumbbell presses. Till next time.